we have seen that the contraceptive devices contraceptive medicines have uh, you know developed over the years it started with a normal iucd then contraceptive pills and something now we are hearing is nuvarin which you are practicing very much now what is this can i have an insight on this nuvarin is a vaginal ring so this is a ring which is inserted inside the vagina the patient can do this uh, herself the woman can do this herself it does not need an obstetrician or a gynecologist to do this uh, but it is important to know that nuva ring contains hormones just as the pill contains the hormones nuva ring also contains the hormones the convenience of nuva ring is it's a vaginal insertion inserted once in the month it stays inside the vagina for 3 weeks and then is removed by the woman herself this is followed by a period and a fresh ring needs to be inserted unlike the contraceptive pills which have to be taken once every day the new ring just needs to be inserted once in a month so one doesn't need to remember to take pills every day but it has the same type of hormones as in the pills and so the patient selection for new uh, for uh, uh, new ring would be the same rigorous uh, selection procedure as for the pills and so people who cannot take pills because either they smoke heavily or or they have medical problems for which uh, pills we would say you should not be using same people would also be told that they should not be using new ring okay precisely basically what you are saying is it is completely safe if taken with consultation of the gynecologist yes it needs a medical consultation uh, consultation with a gynecologist is absolutely essential this would exclude people uh, who actually should not be receiving hormones from using the new ring i do not want the general public to get this idea that new ring is an inert ring it is a hormonal ring and so it needs the same precautions as the contraceptive pill however it is a newer way of using the contraception um, it does not require motivation and remembering to take the pill every day and it is easy and safe to insert and remove and uh, the hormone contained in the nuva ring is actually much lesser than the amount which is available in the regular contraceptive pill so that is an any side effects side effects are the same as that of the hormonal pill and the commonest side effects that people report uh, would be a little bit of uh, nausea vomiting so people who are prone to get nausea vomiting generally do not respond well to hormones and would be advised to use other normal non hormonal uh, contraceptives but majority of people use them uh, quite happily and the side effects with nuva ring are actually much lesser than the pill because it's inserted into the vagina and uh, the absorption into the blood stream and into the system is much lesser and the hormone contained also is much lesser so it is much better tolerated than the contraceptive pill however people with active liver disorders uh, severe migraine uh, people with uh, uh, epilepsy they would they would be advised against using these uh, new ranks the, the other side effect which uh, sometimes women report with new ring is the vaginal discharge and they worry about it and for which they sometimes come and seek gynecological opinion but per se new ring does not uh, predispose women to infections and discharges any side effects of uh, nuvaring uh, in terms of future fertility it's a new new product and its impact on future fertility we cannot say immediately however it has been shown in the past that with hormonal contraception usually there is no negative impact on fertility this is a myth which is going around that if you take the pill or if you take hormonal contraception you're going to find it difficult to get pregnant later In fact I often emphasize that there are many non contraceptive benefits of hormonal contraception like people who use hormonal contraception often report 
regular periods, lighter periods, uh, periods are uh, not painful and hormonal contraception actually protects against problems like endometriosis and if somebody takes the pill which is a hormonal contraceptive method regularly over a period of time it actually brings down the incidence of cancer of the uterus and cancer of the ovary. So uh, I do not subscribe to the myth that uh, hormonal contraception if you are using it's going to have a negative impact on your uh, fertility in future and one may find it difficult to conceive in future. However, there is a word of warning here. Hormonal contraception does not prevent, uh, is not a preventive method against pelvic infections. And uh, uh, unlike barrier contraceptive methods like condoms, which protect against uh, uh, infections in the pelvis. So sometimes there are other factors which have an impact on a woman's fertility and these factors they get highlighted only when the couple decide to conceive later on in life. Thank you so much for, for your time ma'am and it was great talking to you. Hopefully this information would be very very useful for people who would, who would see this video. Thank you so much. Thank you.